Hi there, I'm Miriam. Welcome to Miriam's Manor. I would love to share with you what I have learned about my three favorite hobbies, gardening, home decor, and literally everything Christmas. I would also love to hear your tips and learn from you as well. Let's learn together. Good morning and welcome back. Today we are going to be talking about home decor. So before I get started on my living room transformation, one little thing that I wanted to just take the time and talk to you about is encourage you to not be so preoccupied with following all of the design trends. Um, people can get so caught up with trying to stay current and relevant on all of the design trends that you really lose what's important to you and your family and the things that you love. So I would just first like to encourage you to start with color palettes that you love, that you like. Because again, remember, you're designing this room for you and your family, not for everyone else. It only matters that you love it. So definitely choose things that you love for your space and figure out how to make it work and blend some styles together that you love. For me, my two favorite things when I started designing my formal living room space was blue. I love the color blue, it's my favorite color. And I knew that I wanted that color to be on all of my walls. My second favorite thing is wainscoting. Now, blue can be a very aggressive color to paint on all of the walls in a room. So what I decided to do was take the wainscoting in to soften up a lot of that dark blue. And instead of only putting the wainscoting at a quarter of the way of the wall, I went three quarters of the way of the wall. Now, I love all things millwork. I love window encasings, entryway encasings, chair welding, crown molding, wainscoting. I could go on and on and on. Um, I don't discriminate when it comes to millwork. So what I did in addition to the wainscoting in this space is I encased my windows and added crown molding and encased the entryway. And I also went a little bit one step further with my wainscoting because most people just put chair rail um, to complete the top of the wainscoting panel. I actually used crown molding to top mine, um, especially since it is taller and most people can't look into it and see the inside of that um, crown molding piece. So I love the way that this space turned out. So let me show you what I've done. So the second thing that I would like to encourage you with today is to stop giving away your gold. I personally know so many people that get rid of beautiful pieces of furniture that are still in really good condition. They might just need a little bit of freshening up. So that old dresser that you might have been thinking about getting rid of, Maybe it can be a perfect buffet for your space or those chairs that might not work anymore. Reupholster them and use them or turn them into a bench seat for your patio. But find a way to repurpose things that you already own when you're thinking about redesigning a new space. It'll save on your budget and everybody's happier in the end. One of the things that I did for my space is I had two tables that were in my old house that were an espresso brown that were really dark and do not fit the decor of my new home, but I still love the tables and the style of the table. So I actually gave them to my brother, who is really excellent at bringing furniture back to life and restoring furniture. He sanded and repainted them for me, and they are white now, and they are beautiful in this space, and they go so well with the chairs that I have in here. Um, speaking of chairs, that was one of the other projects my husband and I did. Um, the chairs in their old condition would not have worked for the space. The color was completely off, but I found this beautiful ornate fabric that I was able to find on sale. And so my husband and I, for next to nothing, reupholstered these chairs and gave them a brand new look. And now they look perfect in this space.
So I just want to encourage you to reuse pieces that you might be thinking are out of date, freshen them up. You're going to spend a lot less money reupholstering furniture than buying a new piece of furniture. And especially if that piece of furniture is still solid and good quality. So the last thing that I still have not settled on yet is what to do on this long blank wall. What I was originally thinking was painting an ombre blue color painting that kind of goes down into shades, the different shades of blue down into like a silver she white along this back wall or putting a long mirror along this back wall that this couch is on. My husband would rather leave it blank, but it's a rather long wall and long space to leave completely empty. So give me your thoughts and feedback and let me know what you think. I look forward to hearing your comments and your suggestions. I hope this video has inspired you to um, and given you some ideas on how to decorate your formal space. I hope it has also encouraged you to think outside of the box with your current furniture, as well as encourage you to make design choices that you love. Um, and if I have done so, please like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to click on the bell icon, and I will see you next time. Bye.